Hello everyone. Today's video is about Google Cloud Build as a GCP managed service that can be used for continuous integration and deployment. During the next few minutes, I will specify to you the target of this video, an issue that can be faced on GCP in a specific use case, a solution, and finally a conclusion. This video could be helpful for companies who are implementing Google Cloud Build as a CI tool managed by GCP and who are deploying the container images on top of a private Google Kubernetes engine cluster. The issue is that Google Cloud Build does not support private GKE clusters yet. Currently, it is not possible to specify the subnetwork of Cloud Build machine, and Cloud Build does not announce IP ranges to the build machine. So, if you have a private GKE cluster, you won't be able to automate the deployment on top of it, because Cloud Build won't be able to communicate with GKE Master in order to execute the deployment step. The solution for this current limitation is to use what we call a remote builder. The remote builder is a customized container image that will be running as a build step in Cloud Build. But, Prior to the build of the, of the remote builder's image, a GCE instance should be created with a user in the same subnetwork as your private GKE cluster. Also, you would have to develop a bash script for your deployment step. So, at the creation of the remote builder's container image, a SSH key will be created and it will be used by all the jobs to connect to the GCE instance and execute the deployment script on top of the GKE cluster. Thus, in order to execute the script after the SSH authentication, the GCE instance would need access to the GKE cluster, which means that you would need to update the service account associated with this instance with the rule Kubernetes Engine Developer. In your cloud build pipeline steps, you would only need to add a step with the name of the remote builder's image, specify the zone of your GCE instance, the user of your machine, and the deployment script you want to execute. The remote builder will execute a specific bash script we developed to do the following. Setting up the variables, username which is the user created in the GCE instance, a remote workspace, the GCE instance name, and the zone. Then we have the GCP zone setup and the remote workspace creation. Since we wanted to deploy him charts, we copy the charts and the deployment scripts uh, to the remote workspace. Then there is the connection to the instance and execution of the deployment script. And finally, we delete the build workspace. In the deployment step of uh, Cloud Build Pipeline, you can see that it is running the remote builder's container image, which means that this step connects using SSH to the GCE instance and runs the deployment script. To sum up, the steps to follow in order to implement this solution are first, GCE instance creation in the same subnetwork as the private GKE cluster, user creation in your instance, preparing the Docker file of the remote builder, developing the remote builder's script, building the image using the common gcloud build subnet and cloud build.yaml file as a config file, updating the service account of the GCE instance to have the rule Kubernetes engine developer, developing the bash script for your deployment step, configuring your build step in cloud build.yaml file using the built image, and launch the pipeline. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us.